Hello, everyone, and welcome to Film Studies session. I am so grateful and thankful that you guys could join us. Although being in a different way, we would love to have you on campus, but this is as close as we're gonna get right now. We just wanna give you the experience. So uh, you have joined us for the Film Studies experience. My name is Sharon Laylor, and I'm gonna moderate this conversation and this discussion where you're gonna to get to see a little bit of a window into what Film Studies at Laurier is all about. And right now I'm gonna pass it over to Catherine. Hi everybody, my name is Dr. Catherine Spring. Uh, welcome to this session, we're glad you could join us. I'm an associate professor in the Department of English and Film Studies, and I teach primarily courses in American film history, film sound and music, and I teach the introductory level courses. Pass it over to Wyatt. Hi, I'm Wyatt. I'm a fourth year film studies major who's also double minoring in English and history. Um, my hobbies include playing video games, watching movies, and I also love sports. Uh, sure, sure you're, you're muted, but I'm assuming you said, I'm going to pass it over to Savetia. <laughs> yeah, sorry about so, that. <laughs> no Hi, I'm Savetia. I'm another fourth year film student, um, majoring in film, also minoring in history, um, super interested in film comedy, um, and just, you know, writing, screenwriting, etc. that side of filmmaking. All right. So, um, Catherine is going to give us an overview about film studies. Sure, well, we're a four-year degree program as the Honors BA of Film Studies. And we focus really on the critical study of the history and theory of cinema. Uh, our courses span a range of subjects. We have courses on genres like the Western, detective film, uh, Severia mentioned film comedy, that's a popular course, um, art cinema. Uh, then we have courses on national cinemas like French film, German film, Italian film, Canadian film, East Asian cinemas, Bollywood cinema. And then we also have courses that address theories of film that have arisen over the past century. Uh, and those are usually in relation to subjects like mass media uh, or gender or um, art, the art world writ large. So we really have a wide range of courses in our program. And then in addition to that focus on the critical study of the history and theory of film, we also offer students um, opportunities to sample film production courses. Um, or to acquire film production experience. And they can do that in one of three ways. Uh, they can take courses within our program. We, we do offer a limited number of production courses in editing, screenwriting, and directing. Uh, or they can pursue the, the much more intensive new pathway program with the Vancouver Film School, which consists of a full year's worth of study uh, with VFS. Um, or they can do an exchange program with, at the University of Lincoln in the UK as a study abroad student and take production courses there at Lincoln School of Film and Media. So what we've tried to do is to allow students or enable them to uh, acquire these skills of production and technical skills within the context of the critical honors BA degree. Um, and that's pretty much an introduction to the program. Uh, I'm happy to answer any questions you have, Sharon, or to further facilitate conversation. Okay, beautiful. So let's just talk about some of the questions. So what I first have is about five questions that seems to be pretty popular um, that we keep getting feedback from students on what they wanna know about a program. But um, I'm gonna ask, I'll probably direct it to Catherine, but if Wyatt or Severia wanna jump in and just give their viewpoint on some of those, that would be great. So we'll start with, do you have a productions course? Does that Right, so I th that is by far the most popular question. I can understand why I think increasingly students want to have these technical skills and know what it's like to work on set or in the editing room or, uh, or in production in general. And uh, while we don't offer a full-fledged production program at Laurier, we do have five or six courses that count as production courses. And any student in the Honors BA in Film Studies uh, degree program can take those courses and earn on their transcript the film production specialization. So that's a credential we offer in addition to the honors BA degree. If they're more serious about uh, production, then we advise students to pursue either our study abroad program with the University of Lincoln, um, which they pursue as a Laurier student and they pay Laurier tuition and fees, 
or to uh, pursue the Laurier Vancouver Film School pathway. And that's really designed for students who are certain that of a career in production or that they want a career in production. Uh, VFS is Canada's top filmmaking school. Um, it's a private institution and students in that pathway study there for a full year in year three of the four-year degree program. So they spend two years at Laurier, one year at Vancouver, and they return for their fourth year and finish up their degree. They graduate with the honors BA in film studies with the diploma from the Vancouver Film School. So it's, it's beneficial in many ways. Um, it allows them to take what used to be a five-year pathway, like four years at Laurier plus one year at Vancouver, and condense that into a four-year program. Um, and then the other thing to note is that the programs that are included in this pathway at Vancouver Film School are the, the film production diploma, uh, the writing for film and television diploma and the acting for film and television diploma. So we've had this program in place now for three or four years. Um, it's been very successful. The students report that it's a lot of work, but when they finish the year at Vancouver Film School, they feel ready to hit the ground running with a job in the industry. Um, so, so I think uh, it's been rewarding for all the students who have pursued it. But the point is there are different options for students who want to uh, pursue production uh, within the, the framework of the honors BA degree. Um, now, why in Severia? I don't know if you've taken production courses at Laurier. I don't think either of you were in the Vancouver Film School pathway. Uh, actually, I was in the Vancouver Film School pathway. Oh, you were. And, um, yeah, it was a very, in I took the screenwriting pathway and it was a very like in-depth look at, you know, screenwriting for film and television and even video games, which is apparently an emerging industry, fun <laughs> fact. But um, yeah, I, um, it really supplemented the degree at Laurier. So, you know, Laurier gives you an understanding of what film is, what makes up the different genres, the different, you know, trends of film. And VFS helped give me a more, you know, practical application of it. You know, so um, they complement each other. And together, I think they help make me a better screenwriter, thanks to the learning at both institutions. Yeah, I'm sure you were developing different skills at, at either institution. Did you, I, I'm always curious to know if the VFS students feel like you have a good cohort of Laurier students there. Were you there in the previous year or, or the one before that? Uh, yeah, I was there just last year. Um, I think there were three other Laurier students within the class of 32. So there were quite a few of us and you know, we did have our own little community there while also within the bigger uh, VFS community. So, um, you know, we definitely made connections with each other and with others, thanks Great. to VFS as well. Yeah, I know the last year we had maybe a dozen students at VFS altogether. And then um, next year, I think 16 or 17 are going. So the, the cohort is growing every year. Yeah. Wyatt, have you taken any production courses at Laurier? I've taken uh, Jeff Thompson's video editing class last year, uh, his, his two-part class, and that actually helped me with my video editing skills because, because before I was like very amateur and now I know how to color correct and do all like a bunch of technical issues and I also know how to use Fusion now, which I didn't know how to use before with like green screens and Photoshop, so that's really interesting. And then Dr. Annett's animation course we did some production with animation films, with animation film and like stop motion, which was really cool as well. Okay. That's really neat. I think I'll just add one more thing. One thing I've noticed in, um, I mean, I don't teach production courses, but I've noticed that students who have taken the editing courses tend to um, write better papers or have sharper analytical skills when it comes to analyzing uh, editing in films that were made, you know, even a, a hundred years ago. So it's always interesting to me to see how these production courses can supplement or enhance a student's um, critical skills of thinking and analysis. Okay, thank you so much. That's like great information. So here's the other great popular question. And so I'm, I think I'm going to start off with the students and I may start off with Wyatt. Um, what will, and so everybody wants to know, what will first year experience look like? It's, you remember your first year, Wyatt? I do remember my first year very, very well. It was actually, it's a lot of fun. Um, what I really like about our film studies program is that we have eight electives in first year. 
So it gives us such a broad spectrum of what else we want to study. So when I first came to Laurier, I was only in film studies and that's all I set my mind to. But when I was in first year, I took enough electives, like I took psychology, history, English, um, and people on my floor took business as well because that like it gives them such a wide spectrum that you can add elements of, of other things to the film studies experience. And then what you do study in your first year is the basics of theory that you're going to continue to study in at Laurier. So it's, it sets you up so nicely for what you want to do and what other things you want to experience in Laurier and in your learning. Thanks, Wyatt. Okay. Severia, do you have anything to add? What was your experience? Um, pretty much the same as Wyatt, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, I have nothing to add to that. He summed it up pretty well. Okay, well, I'm gonna let Catherine jump in, but I kind of want to like piggyback on that question. I guess the other thing is, what would you wish you had known in first year? I'll actually be quiet. I think that's a great question for students. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so Severia, could you add anything to that? Is there something you wish you knew or what would you tell the first students who are coming in or looking to come to Laurier? Um, hmm. I guess. Well, I guess it's still related to what Wyatt was saying. I know in my first year, um, you know, I took the two film courses and then I mostly just took um, courses in one other discipline, history, right? Where that would have been the year to explore new things as well and find what else I'm interested in, right? So I guess, you know, when you're coming in, um, try new things too, because you never know what you're gonna like, right? That, that's what I tell students too. The first year is an exploratory year and they might not have that chance again to really broaden themselves out in, the, in subsequent years. And I think of my first year as an undergrad, I think maybe my students know this, but I entered university as a physics major and had my mindset on doing physics. And then I took a first year intro to film class, introduction to film studies, like the, you know, the standard, the course that I now teach. And uh, that was it. <laughs> sort of changed my life. I continued with physics, but also pursued film studies. And here I am now. So you just, you never know. I think it's very, it's, it's essential to keep an open mind in that first year. And it's a gift really to have a full year to explore these different disciplines. It's, it's a true gift. Okay, beautiful. Wyatt, is there anything you want to add to that or is it all covered? I would just say uh, be patient because because you're only limited to the first two film studies courses, I know film studies majors are really excited about taking all the film courses that they can, but just be patient because you'll have that opportunity in university to take those film studies courses. So again, like explore what you can now. Okay, beautiful. Next question. Are there any student film filmmaking clubs and what are they? Uh, so we have we don't we have a, the Laurier Film Society that's our undergraduate club that's affiliated with the student union, and uh, maybe Wyatt and Saveria can speak uh, more accurately to this than I can. But uh, the last time I checked, there were a handful of students within that society that were collaborating to make films together. Um, outside of that, my sense is that students collaborate within uh, the context of classes and they make films together in uh, say the screenwriting and directing class or, uh, or just extracurricularly. Um, I don't know if the student of Wyatt or Severia, do you have any experience with that? Um, last time I went to the Film Society, they were doing group discussions on films, on weekly films. So they would do a viewing beforehand and they would go to Wilfs. This was back when it was in person and then at Wilfs, uh, they would go and discuss a movie of the week, and, was, and then it was a lot of fun get to know other film studies majors. Um, our, also, the film RLC floors are, is another great place to get to know film studies majors, and me and Sibelia lived on the same RLC floor in first year, and we had the experience of making films and everything like that, so that's another good experience. Uh, yeah. So the RLC is the residence learning community uh, that's open to first year students and uh, who are interested in film and media studies. Okay, beautiful. All right, so next question. 
How big, and so Catherine, and this will probably go to you first, <laughs> how big is the program? And will, as a first year student, will I be lost in the crowd? Well, uh, our program has certainly grown over the past few years. It's doubled in size and we have total close to 250 majors right now. The first year courses in film studies are large. They typically have 200 students in them. But um, I don't know that, that most students would say they're lost in the crowd. I mean, of those 200 students, about uh, 80 or so of them are film studies majors. But one thing we've done to ensure that students have a connection with the professor and other instructors in the course is uh, to we've divided the class into weekly labs or tutorials, we call them. Uh, but they're, they're sort of like breakout groups that meet once a week for an hour and have focused discussion on uh, about that week's lecture content and the film. And I think those have gone a long way in helping students feel connected to one another, developing peers both in the film studies program and with other, other disciplines. Uh, and then again, feeling connected to either their teaching assistant or the course professor. Um, so I, I think that that helps. Uh, but again, I, I guess Wyatt or Severia would have to comment on the their experience as a first year student and whether they felt lost in the crowd. My sense too is that Laurier just has many mechanisms in place to help students uh, feel like they have a community here and uh, are connected to their peers. Okay, uh, Severia and Wyatt, do you have anything to add to that or? Um, yeah, I guess, you know, in first year, just because, you know, there are also a lot of non film majors taking these courses, um, you know, there can be a bit of that sense of getting lost in the crowd. But as you progress in the program, the classes do get smaller and smaller. And, um, you know, soon you're surrounded by only film majors all day, every day, right. And, you know, you've been you've taken like seven classes with the same professors, right. So uh, it is easier to build that sense of community as you go through. But even in the earlier years of the program, um, you know, professors always have office hours. So if you're struggling, it's still very easy to get in contact with them and, you know, have discussions about whatever you need clarified because they do make sure that they're available to you, the student, to help the learning process. Thank you. Okay, and so the like, Rhyming down and so wrapping up to the last question, what can, so this question gets asked a lot, especially in this time, what can I do with a degree in film studies? Right, another popular question. It's always hard for me to answer this because there's the, the careers I think students can pursue with a degree in film studies. And then, then the ones that like I talk to students years down the road and I realize, oh, they've ended up in different professions, but they are still using the skills from their degree. So I think probably the most popular careers that our students pursue are in uh, some aspect of the film industry, um, whether it's uh, working on sets as um, a props manager in Toronto, or uh, we've had students who start their own production companies regionally, uh, even nationally. Um, so, but some aspect of the film industry, but also um, anything relating to writing and publishing and editing, those have been popular career paths, teaching, uh, we've had a couple of students go off to law school. Uh, the one that surprised me the most was a student who I contacted several years after he graduated and he was in hotel management. And I said, well, how is that related? Does that relate to your degree? And he said he was he was a certain. Yes, he had learned the skills of writing and communication through the honors BA degree. It happened that the, the text that he was writing about a lot were, were, was a film or films. Right. Those were the texts. But those skills were highly transferable. And that was a really good um, lesson for me to learn from him. So I think there's a wide range of, of careers, most popular being in the industry, but, but really a range. Fabulous. Okay. Is there any final thoughts um, around what students should be looking for or checking out when they're looking for a uh, program in film studies, Wyatt or Severia? No? I would just say put the extra effort in uh, to get to know your props in first year because it really does help like go to the meet the props event talk to them in office hours um, one thing that I always re regret that I wish I did was talk to my props more in first year because they're really going to be there for the rest of your university life okay thank you so much for that Wyatt and so then the other thing I just wanted to let 
if there's prospective students who have more questions about film studies, especially when you can't be on campus and stuff like that, Catherine, where would you direct them to ask um, questions about film studies program? Sure. Well, certainly if they just do a Google search, Laurier Film Studies, they'll find a lot of information in the first couple of hits there, which are our program pages. Uh, but they can also email me. Uh, and my email is kspring at wlu.ca. So just my first initial kspring at wlu.ca. That's really a great point of contact. Uh, I'm always happy to hear from prospective students and I'm happy to answer any questions about the program. All right. Thank you, everyone, for taking this time to just be with us and, and check out this session. And if you, um, as you heard Catherine say, if you are interested in film studies and have more questions that we didn't, we were just scratching the surface here. But if you have some detailed questions that you want to ask, um, please know you can reach Catherine at kspring at wlu.ca. Thank you for spending the time with us. And uh, we uh, just during this time, stay safe and take care. Bye, everyone.